What is up, y'all? I'm Jordy. Today, I'm going to be sharing some Rillaboom highlights from my Global Challenge 2 run. This Rillaboom is mostly support. Fake Out will help you get Trick Room up with Ferrigarath or Swords Dance with Ogre Pond, or just generally make room. Setting up the grassy terrain will help Torkoal heal, will help Raging Bolt heal, and will make it so that Grassy Glide is priority from Ogre Pond. This used to be U-Turn, which would help Torkoal get in er er a little bit easier, but I changed it out for high horsepower to have a little bit of a better matchup against a few things, like Terra Poison Landorus, Raging Bolt, and some Fire types, and it's worked out really well for me. Anyway, let's get on to some of these matches. Okay, we're fighting a rain team. Uh, our Chaladon Urshifu, Politoed, Raging Bolt, Blood Moon Bear, and Fax Caliber. That's just a bunch of scary Pokemon. I don't like seeing a lot of those. Uh, Ogre Pond and Rillaboom don't seem bad. Quite a few things that they can blow up, especially if we can bring in Torkoal at the right time. And then, what's the hardest thing for those to take on? Archaladon? If I get a Terrifier Ivy Cudgel, Archaladon's going down in the sun. But maybe just in case... And I guess the their bolt could be a little annoying too. Uh, Fluttermane could be good. They don't really have anything faster than Fluttermane unless they have a scarf on that Urshifu. Which in the sun I would still be faster. Or if that's like Dragon Dances. I kind of want to bring Bolt, but I feel like Fluttermane's better. They don't seem to have any Trick Room, so I'm not sure... Or Tailwind. I'm not sure what the bear is going to do. Yeah, that's what I'll go with. Grass Mode! And Oh, you got the little guy! Okay, cool. Cool, he's a cool little guy. What are those shoes? Water Urshifu and Max Caliber. Let me guess, your Max Caliber wants to get out. Your Urshifu wants to get out. I could double glide it. That would be a funny play. I could Terra glide it. Well, I could also fake it out. Got a lot of options. I'm gonna go Terra. Mm. I don't know if that KOs without the sun. I'm gonna double glide it. And Terra the Rillaboom right away defensively. They're tearing right away. Their Urshifu is poison. No. All right, double glide's not doing anything. Okay, you got me. That does some damage. That does some damage. Oh, and poison jab. Terra poison poison jab. Ow. Ouch. Yikes. Oh, and just glaive rush into Rillaboom. Yeah. Ow. All right, I gotta bring in Flutter here then. Their swap into a fairy move is not really much of anything. So I could just dazzle. A little worried about that poison jab. Probably won't knock out Flutter Mane, might knock out Rillaboom from here though. I'll just dazzle high horsepower. Oh good, you swap out that one, that's cool. 
The Excalibur has to protect, otherwise the Glaive Rush double damage will mess you up. Oh, Ice Shard will do it. Okay. Got stamina, but I did a good amount. My horsepower doesn't knock you out, which is probably for the best, because you're in Dazzling Gleam range. Rillaboom is fastest. Cool. Of the not Flutter Mains on the field, at least. Oh, and it's a Leftovers on the Archaladon. That's interesting. Well, I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. And I'm going to... Dazzling Gleam should knock out Bax's Caliber. I'm wondering if I should get out for another fake out turn, but they probably have Politoed somewhere. So if I brought in the turtle now, they would just bring out the rain. Then I'd be in more trouble. Yeah. Just gonna make sure you're in dazzling range. No, no high roll, low roll for me. And a double knockout. Great. Maybe I need to get Fluttermane out for the Torkoal, though. Yeah, it is Urshifu. And Politoed. So what I can do is I can bring in Torkoal, take Weather Control. You're gonna lock into, like, Surging Strikes or something, with, which probably won't knock out Fluttermane when I come back. I'll just get some glide damage on the polytoad. Yeah. With me being presumably locked into Dazzling Gleam, I think you Surging Strikes into my Rillaboom. I don't know what the polytoad does. It might just protect if it has it. Great damage there. Wow. Ooh, and you Surging Strikes that Torkoal? We could eat that all day. All day. We're gonna take the next one. Unless you hit us with Polytoad. Weather Ball, nope, that ain't doing it. <laughs> yep, and then we know the speed tiers, but none of them are surprising. So just flamethrower the Urshifu and grassy glide the Politoed. Politoed should protect. Uh, and then they lose their Urshifu and have no way of hitting Fluttermane, really. Yeah, this is fine. This is a good position. They don't protect Politoed. Maybe they don't have it. Maybe they're all support moves in Weather Ball. And then do you go after Torkoal? Get, get the good rolls? Nope. You're going to let me get a flamethrower. This team feels very nerve-wracking because a lot of it is offensive trading. Like, I'm losing Pokemon left and right, but I'm still in a winning position. I have my endgame locked down. But it doesn't feel like it's that, like I'm winning that much, you know? And goodbye, Urshifu. Okay. Good game there. <clears throat> Ogre Pond, Chen Pao, cool combo. Iron Hands, Fluttermane, Amoongus, and uh, Entei. Okay. Lots of priority. Also an Amoongus. No Intimidate. Ogre Pond likes to see no Intimidate. Doesn't like to see Entei, but likes to see no Intimidate. Could be Ogre Pond, Torkoal, blow stuff up that way. Frigraph in the back to block those, all those priority moves. And then maybe a Rillaboom? 
If Ogre Pond's who I'm gonna be sweeping with, yeah, why not? Fluttermain doesn't seem that great here. Raging Bolt. Bad against hands. Bad against Chen Pao. Iffy versus Amoongus. Because you can't really clap when there's an Amoongus. That's why Safety Goggles is so good on it. Mine don't have that though. I figured two grass types was enough. Maybe I should not have. And no trainer card. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. You gotta you got update that, man. Entei and a fake out partner. Cool. I can live with that. I could even just spiky shield, honestly. Chipping down Entei would be really nice for everything I have. Uh, could they fake out Torkoal? I wouldn't really lose much for that. Yep, they go for the fake out on the Ogre Pond. Good. I'll take that. And stomping tantrum with the Torkoal. Okay. We can take that. Oh, we took that pretty well. You're probably a salt vest then, right? <laughs> yeah, I think maybe you are. Okay. How about a Terrifier Helping Handed Ivy Cudgel? Terrifier. Ivy Cudgel. In the sun. With a Helping Hand boost. Yeah. Let's do it. I don't know this calc very well, and Entei's are all built different, so... I'm hoping the multipliers work in my favor. Mask on. Yep, no E-speed. That's good. No swaps, no Terras. And we get it! Yes! Bye, Entei! You were the biggest problem, and now you are gone. Now we have to take a big hit with this Iron Hand, though. Oh, it's on Torkoal! No, I'm not gonna beat you with Torkoal! That's okay! I was not planning on clicking Eruption. Not in this game. Okay. Yeah, I love that. I feel like spiky shielding just to see if that Ogre Pond Terra's. And I can get into Rillaboom pretty free here. That'll let me set up the sun later. I don't need to sack Torkoal. Also, if they ignore Torkoal, then that would be awkward. Torkoal doesn't do much here. I mean, Flamethrower can do a lot to Ogre Pond if they don't Terra, but... I kinda have to to live my Ivy Cudgel. So... Spiky shield from me, no Terra from them. Spiky shield from them. That doesn't mean anything to me though, because I'm max speed. So obviously I was gonna go first. At worst. Well, what do you have that can take a glide and an Ivy Cudgel? Mmm, nothing. Ivy Cudgel. Grassy Glide. Who'd you give me? Who'd you give me? Amoongus! I'll take it. I'll take it. I like taking Amoongus. A little bit of chip on you. A little bit of chip on... Nope, no Rocky Helmet. Okay. Bye bye How many Amoonguses do you think that kills? I'm hoping more than two. 
And Drain Punch does over half my Ogre Pond. Okay. I'll have to take care of you. Sun is about to be done. I think it's Spiky Shield. And get some chip on the Iron Hands. Yep, they Ivy Cudgel, that's cool. My horsepower gets the chip I wanted. A little awkward that they didn't protect their Ogathon there. Well, I could bring in my Torkoal, get the sun up. Who turns it to rain remain? Ship the Iron Hands again. I, why are they not tearing? Or did I miss it earlier? There it is. Okay. I've been waiting for this. I've been wanting to see this all my life. And it's that thing. Cool. I love to see it being that thing. They got their mask on now. That's okay, Torkoal was attacked. And we miss high horsepower, actually. Ogre oh, time. Last turn of terrain, so I want to set that back up, so I will spiky shield. Bring in for Rigoraf. Now, if they spiky shield here, I can helping hand glide and be good. They do spiky shield. Great! Or no, I can't help in hand glide. No, what I do is I help in hand Ivy Cudgel, get rid of Iron Hands. Then the grass comes back up. Yeah. Now, if they're a max speed Ogre Pond and win a speed tie, mm, that gets awkward. Okay, lock into your play. This is a good match here. I like this, this is fun. And we get the Ivy Cudgel, amazing. Meryl Palmas is no more.
and they target Ogre Pond. Fine. Here's where they spiky shield. Thinking it wins them the game. LOL. LMAO even. <laughs> oh, I'm nasty. Was that a nasty thing to do? Was that just disgusting? Yeah, go for the double spiky shield, it's fine. That's not fine, actually. You get that, you could win. <laughs> yep, not even gonna go for it. Goodbye! Bam! So, for people at home, Armor Tail does not protect you from your partner's priority moves. That's something I learned just now. That's what I expected it to be, but I really had no choice. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was fun. Good game, Maestro. Good game. Alright, they got Thunderous, Landorus. Not Thunderous. Raging Bolt, Landorus, Tornadus, Urshifu, Golden Go, and a Ferrigarath just to stop Trick Room. That is a Tailwindy team. And Fluttermane does not like seeing Tailwind Golden Go. And Raging Bolt does not like seeing Landorus. And my Ferrigarath doesn't like seeing their Ferrigarath. So this is going to be a tough one. Ogre Pond, Rillaboom are not bad. As long as that's not a Dark Urshifu. Ogre Pond, Rillaboom are pretty good. Then, I need a way to not die to Tornadus, which is Raging Bolt. Then I need to beat Landorus. Under Tailwind. Probably not happening. Fluttermane's pretty good, though. Or at least it's our best bet. Oh, I really want Torkoal. I can't afford it. I don't have room. I do not have room for Torkoal here. Oh, wow. I guess maybe I should have gone for the Trick Room mode. They just lead for Rigorath and like. Oh, Gengars. For Rigorath and like Landorus and just start blowing stuff up though, and then it's like, oh no. What can I do there? Tornadus, Dershifu. Yeah, that's the one I didn't want to see. Thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, we're not friends anymore. They must want Tailwind. They probably want Tailwind. Nope, they just go straight for Bleak Windstorm. Cool. Confirm speed tiers, but nothing there is a surprise. I could double prio into the Urshi food. I don't know if they... 
They wouldn't su lock into Sucker Punch. Yeah, I like that. Double priority. Okay. And it worked. Yes! Alright, massive threat eliminated. Now let's worry about that Tornadus killing my Rillaboom. Because that is definitely what it's doing here. Wait. Nah. Nah. We don't get hit by wind. We see the wind blow and we just dodge out of the way. You could do that when you're like a gorilla, apparently. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a real thing that really happens. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okie dokie. Um, hmm. Yeah, this isn't good. This is a bad position to be in. Thunderclap succeeds. They're Sash. Oh, they're Sash. Ah. I see. Bleak Windstorm connects this time, and then you Earth Power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Though, how fast is your Tornadus? How fast is your Tornadus? Could Grassy Glide pick you off? If you're gonna be Sash, you're gonna be max speed. Which would make you one point faster than Ogre Pond. There's no reason not to go max speed. Is Icy Wind the play? It might be. But they could just tear a poison their lander is. Alright, they're not gonna get off a bleak wind storm. And they would sludge bomb into the ogre pond. Which we live in Ivy Cudgel. that right? Was this right? I don't know if this was right. It's Tailwind, yeah. We saw that coming. No! Now imagine if I had just spiky shield ice here. Crit the land out. Wouldn't have done it anyway. Uh. Yeah, and it was golden go last. If I had protected and clicked icy wind, they both go down. Golden go comes out and it would Terra make it rain? Hmm. Ogre Pond still might have lost to that. Depending on their Terra type. Which they don't want to show me. Alright, good game. Good game. You had a very scary team and you used it well. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Urshifu, Chen Pao, Incineroar, Landorus, Rillaboom, and Sylveon! 
Oh, that's different. Not used to Sylveon. Sylveon could be a problem. All of that could be a problem, jeez. Uh, definitely water or Shifu. I definitely gotta use Fluttermane. So many things so scary to Fluttermane, though. Well, hang on, though. This looks like a good Torque Hole game. Yeah. Cinderor is a little annoying. Torque Hole could be the play. And then, of course, Landorus is a problem. Fluttermane cleanup crew. Raging Bolt is not that great into Landorus, not that great into Sylvia, not that great into Chen Pao. Okay into Rillaboom. Yeah, it's not, it's not Bolt. Ogre Pond is... With the grass setup, Ogre Pond is good. Fluttermane needs to be the fourth. The fourth has to have an okay matchup into Incineroar. And Fluttermane... It can at least do damage to Incineroar. Ogre Pond cannot. If we chip it with an Eruption, maybe. Then Moonblast. Ah, no trainer card! Early on in the GC, I was getting a ton of good trainer cards. But later on in the GC, nothing. I guess the better the player, the worse the card? No, that doesn't seem right. Our Rillaboom is faster than their Incineroar. Ah, could I knock out Sylveon at minus one? Oh, there's a good chance. There's a good chance. The calc says this could happen. Oh no! <laughs> no! Why would you do that? Oh. Oh no. Well, I can't do it at minus two. Okay, well you didn't gain any momentum there. Uh, you got positioning. You got rid of my fake out turn. But nothing really happened. I think it's time to set Trick Room. And since we have grass on the field, Torkoal will heal a little bit, so I think it's fine to bring it in now. They might ignore it. Uh, they might Woodhammer Hyper Voice into Perigraph. Woodhammer would go first, trigger our berry. Maybe we're all maybe we'll be okay. Oh, and they just swapped Rillaboom out. Into the Incineroar. Oh, they're trying to get that Rillaboom low. They were afraid of that helping him wood Woodhammer. Oh, just a Calm Mind? Okay. Yeah, now you just protect and parting shot my Torkoal. Whereas I bring in Rillaboom for a fake out turn next turn. And I just Terrifier Erupt. No. A helping hand Earth Power into your Incineroar. A Terra? Oh, a Terra Water Sylveon, isn't it? Yeah, this is not Torkoal's game anymore. Glad I didn't commit the Terra.
but I have Rillaboom. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted to do that. <laughs> that could have been a mistake, Sylveon. I'm not just chipping you down. Nice and... Mm. Okay, at least you don't have a berry. Incineroar at half is good enough for me. And for a graph, still around. I can knock out your Incineroar if you stay in. Do you want to give me Incineroar? I don't think so. I think you want to save it. <laughs> Let's see if you want to save your Incineroar. You do. All right. Who am I catching with a relatively weak <laughs> eruption? Rillaboom! Rillaboom don't want to take no weak eruptions. And some chip on Sylveon's always nice. Hey, bye Rillaboom. That is one flutter threat eliminated. Two Trick Room turns down. I have to go to Rillaboom, even though they're just going to bring in Incineroar. Now that you're a grass type, you're not going to take this wood hammer. You're probably going to fake out. Whew. This is a, this is a good match. This is a tough one. They've got a real bulky team. They're using their Incineroar well, too. I got Fire Monkey. Just got fake out. All right, one more of those will take you. That's good. That means you cannot. Oh no, it won't. You got the big berry. Oh lord. I don't like that. How do I win this? Because they can just Flare Blitz Fluttermane. There's nothing I can do about that. That will die. And in the back they have either Landorus, Urshifu, or Chen Pao. No, I definitely lost this. They make all the right plays now. It's game over. There's nothing I can do. If they just Flare Blitz, that's all they need to do is Flare Blitz and then do whatever with Sylveon. And if they see that and they do that, they can win. Not can, they do win. And it looks like they did. Yep. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Good game. Very good game. Finally get to Woodhammer that Sylveon. 
Oh, and a crit. Love it. Yeah, ain't no way a 10 HP minus one Rillaboom is taking on two of your mons. Oh, 37, thank you. That's, that's much better. Unless I miscounted and you don't have another mon. Uh. Ah. Alright, well, uh... You throw by protecting Chen Pao, I guess? Or Mystic and Icicle Crash for some reason? Nah, you just have to punch. It's fine. Good game. Oh. <laughs> that was a good one. I, I didn't even really do anything wrong. You just played really well. And you use Sylveon, which is sick. But get a trainer card. Okay, we've got... Some things that very much like Sun. They got their own Ogre Pond, they got a Wake, they've got their own Flutter. They've got Thunderous to set Sun, Rillaboom, and Inertiafu. Um, Flutter Main seems okay in the Sun, but the Ogre Pond is terrifying. Because, like, Helping Hand Shadow Ball doesn't knock them all out. Ogre Pond is actually one of the scariest things for this team, so I need to make sure I have a good answer to that. My answer to that might be my own Ogre Pond. Who would be terrified of their walking wake? Who I could handle with Fluttermane. Okay. These two I like. I don't know if I want them both in the front, though. Rillaboom in the back to take a water move would be nice. So maybe it's Ogre Pond plus... For Rig... Oh, I don't have room for all of the things I want. Trick Room seems pretty good. Yeah, no, screw this. I'm going Trick Room route. I'm going hard Trick Room mode here. With... Bolt Last. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, hopefully it works out. Still, that Ogre Pond is terrifying. Oh, they, they played the little, little side quest too. Cool. The Ogre Pond is still terrifying, even if I go Trick Room mode here. Ogre Pond or Shifu Dark. Well, it's going to cost me Terra to get Trick Room up. Because I don't know, I don't want to try to take a plus one Ivy Cudgel to the face. So I need Terra. Trick room. But then I think I'll be in a decent position. Yeah, I think Trick Room was the play here. Right, let's make sure I do everything right. Terra. Trick Room. So I don't go down to Wicked Blow. Bake out the Ogre Pond so I don't go down to plus one Terra Ivy Cudgel. Okay, they did not terrastalize. I probably could have been fine just baking out the Ogre Pond. Alrighty. They let us get the fake out. I'll take the chip. I need the chip. And they just wicked blow the fur graph. Okay, keeping me honest. I can respect that. I did 54. And it was half. Double was four times that. 216. I would have lived. Okay. Now. Problem is over, Pond. Oh, I could gleam and swap in Bolt. No, I because they're gonna double the Rillaboom, maybe. Psychic into Ogre Pond, and I high horsepower. So Urshifu might be scared here from Dazzling Gleam. Oh, a Terrastalize. Oh, now they're popping the mask. 
I, I'm so cool with that. Yeah. I'm high horsepowering you. Which will now do definitely enough after Psychic. And you just detect, yes. I knew you'd be scared of the giraffe. Great chip. If I'd known you were gonna do that, I would just wood hammer. There you go. Bye, Ogre Pond. Bye, Terra. The inspiration for this team, this uh, Rillaboom had U-turn, which makes it a lot easier to bring the Torkoal in. So I sacrificed pivoting in order to have a ground move, but this ground move has been doing really well for me. So I like the change. Like, I set up Trick Room and then you're like, oh, now they're gonna try to bring Torkoal in. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sweep with Rillaboom and Trick Room. It's fine. Dazzling Gleam. You didn't have a booster energy, so you're probably Specs. So I'll wood hammer you. You don't have Terra anymore. You don't really have a great wood hammer swap in if you are trying to bait something. You don't really have a great Dazzling Gleam swap in. And Rillaboom can probably eat the recoil plus a Wicked Flow. We're good. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Glamora, Dondozo, Chen Pao, Roaring Moon, and Golden Go. Well, there's one way I've always handled this, and it doesn't always work. Maybe throwing Torkoal in there would help. Or maybe instead of Fluttermane, Ogre Pond? I can threaten with Thunderbolts and Ivy Cudgels? Not to mention Roaring Moon is a problem. guess this is the play. No. Same four, but I want Bolt in front. Ah, uh, Dondozo matches are so hard. If only I had room for like Haze or something. And no trainer card. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Boring, normal outfit. Alright, Roaring Moon and Glamora. Speed booster. I eliminate Glamora instantly. I wonder if that would do a lot for me. As badly as I want Trick Room, it's not happening with this lead. They could just double for Rigorath. Um, hello? Oh. Um. I'm not gonna say I lost. 
but... What the heck was that? That's not good. I don't even know if Dragon Pulse will knock out Moon now through Light Screen. And through not having a Life Orb. And maybe not having a Bolt. Okay, I'm faster than the Glamora. And I do take out the Bolt anyway. Good. But what? Just a mortal spin. Oh, jeez. Oh, Glamora. Glamora, why? I don't like you, Glamora. Actually, I do. You're really pretty. I have never seen light screen Glamora lore before. Is this, is this what getting GC'd means? <laughs> light screen Glamora? Is that Don Dozo? It sure is. You ignore my Ferrigraph, I get up Trick Room. Probably just protect their Dondozo. Yeah, okay. Saw that coming, but what can I really do about it? If this knocks out, mm, with no life orb through light screen, yeah, not happening. That did none damage. That really did none damage to that Glamora. How did I knock out the moon? Alright, they cannot protect Dondozo here. But they could leave it in. I guess the scariest thing is they could just do something with Glamora. Alright, their Glamora is the slowest thing on the field. I think I want to fake it out and launch an Ivy Cudgel at Dondozo. Predicting a Terra Grass. I gotta make plays. I got to. They do withdraw. The play would have been fake out Don Dozo then. Now, if they're Terra Dragon, I'm gonna click the run button. Probably. Presumably they're now the fastest thing on the field, which is the slowest thing in Trick Room. Now Terra, into... They went for a double protect. That's interesting. That's good damage. I'll take that. Yep, they're just gonna be protect Stalin. Which doesn't matter, because none of these things are actually poisoned. Hmm. I don't really get that play, then. Just assumed you, get, you were gonna get faked out? Yeah, you get your protect. You get wood hammer ivy cudgeled. You're just getting your healing, that's fine. I get it. You're definitely unaware, so I wasn't gonna Swords Dance there. Never gonna risk you just attacking. And the way you're trying to heal 
makes me think you are Terra Grass. Yeah. So maybe you don't burn Terra and I should just Grassy Glide Ivy Cudgel? No, Grassy Glide Wood Hammer. But. Alright, we get the Wood Hammer. Good damage. I like that damage. We find out that you are indeed faster than us. We do no damage. And then we get a bunch of recoil from Wave Crash. And then Rillaboom has to win this on his own. Um, now you're gonna tear into grass. Well, no, not now. You're gonna protect, and then you're gonna tear into grass. It's the last turn of Trick Room. Good lord. Yep, you just protect. That's just what Don Dozo do. It's just what Don Dozo. Don Diddly Do. And now, since I don't have the pieces remaining that I need, you just tear a grass and win the game. Woodhammer. I still have grass, right? Woodhammer did half. So it'll do like an eighth. Double that's a quarter. Times 1.5. Might be there. A crit could do it. They tear a grass, wood hammer crits. There's a chance. And now, yeah, they finally pull it. It must be grass. It must be. It's fairy? Oh, hang on. I do think you live, but now a crit definitely could do it. And that doesn't do half. But unfortunately, I'm out of grass. And you can just protect for another leftovers. Body press does half. Man. Not a fan of Don Dozo. Saw a lot more Don Dozos this time than last time, too. What a shame. Alright, uh, I guess I... It's still wood hammer, but there's nothing I can do. Body press does it. No, Body Press doesn't do it. Woodhammer will knock me out if it knocks them out. If it doesn't knock them out. Still knocks me out, though. Okay. Bye, Don Dozo. Alright, good game. <sighs> Maybe if I had glided, I would have had a shot. I don't know. Alright, we're back. You made it. If you made it this far through the video, you probably liked it. So why don't you help me out by leaving a like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways... There's the rental code for you. Try this team out if you like it. And I'm Jordy. And, uh, alright. Peace.